So in our last tutorial, we uh, created a cube and we applied several attributes uh, to that cube, position, rotation, scale, and a color. Now we're going to talk about how you can go about adding textures to that cube. And the way we go about doing that is basically replacing this color attribute right here. What we use to replace that is the uh, source attribute, which is SRC. And we're going to set that equal to a path. Now, at this point, you can enter in, if you have uh, a texture that you'd like to use, you can enter a path to that texture now. The one that I am going to use is basically the one provided by A-Frame. And I'm going to go, just go ahead and grab this link. Uh, again, we are on this page here, building a basic scene, and we're down in the image texture section. And basically, I'm just going to grab this link here. and we will cut and paste that into there. So now instead of the uh, color attribute that we had on there before, we are pulling an image from uh, a server. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and we'll go back to our scene as our color on it and we'll reload. And now we see our texture. Okay, so this method works just fine, but for performance reasons, uh, A-Frame recommends that we use its asset management system. This will make it easier for the browser to cache assets like images and videos and 3D models. Uh, to do this, we're going to create a new set of tags called A-Assets. Uh, this should come right after the opening scene tag. And this is where we are going to uh, put our assets in. We'll start with an image tag and uh, give that an ID of box texture. Then we need to uh, a reference for the source, much like we had down here. And in fact, you can just copy and paste this uh, right into there. And we're going to do hashtag box texture. Make sure you uh, unlike I just did, make sure you use the exact uh, upper and lower case and, and everything is exact there. So we'll hit save and go back and reload that page. So everything looks the same, but right now, uh, like we said, we are, instead of loading it uh, straight onto that element, we're, we're kind of preloading it up here into the asset management system. So now that we know that trick, uh, let's give our sky an image uh, in the same way. So all we have to do is uh, basically use the uh, same, same formula we have here. We'll give it an ID and we'll call this uh, sky texture. Don't know why I keep, uh, why I keep uh, misspelling that. And we'll use the SRC. And once again, we need a link to our sky texture. And we'll plug that in here. Uh, to get that link, go back to A-Frame. And we will pull our sky right here. I'm just going to copy and paste that link. And go back and reload that page. And we should see our sky. And it didn't work. And what did I forget to do? Yes, right here. We, uh, we have the color right now, so uh, we can't forget that step. We'll replace, uh, we'll replace that color with the uh, source attribute and hashtag sky texture. Come back over here and reload. Now, now we have the sky. How about that? Okay, so we're making progress. We have our cube uh, and our sky. All we need right now is a ground plane. So we're gonna go back to, uh, to our text editor and we're gonna add in a new uh, primitive down here and call it a plane. And we'll close that and we'll put a closing tag, a plane. And so what we wanna do is uh, give this a rotation and we'll give it a rotation of negative 90 should be negative 90 
uh, on the X and on the Y and Z we'll just say zero and zero. And we will give it a width of 30 meters and a height uh, once again of, uh, of 30 meters. Uh, I need my quotes there. There we go. So we'll save that and go back over to our scene in the browser and now uh, you can see that we have a ground plane and of course it's just plain white uh, that would look much nicer with a texture on it so we'll come back over here and do our same trick that uh, we did up here we'll, we'll load in a texture in the assets asset management system and we will reference it down here in the plane element so we'll grab uh, we'll, we'll state an image Give that, uh, we'll just say ground texture. And grab a link to that image. Uh, once again, I'm getting this uh, link uh, from A frame. So all we got to do now is just get a reference uh, to that. And once again, that is. Uh, let me just do this so it's easier to easier for you to read. There we go. So we will use a hashtag a ground texture. Fix that. Okay, and we will save. Come back over here, reload the scene, and there it is. There is our ground texture. So we are starting to uh, end up with something uh, kind of impressive here. In our next tutorial, we are going to start adding some animation uh, to this cube and some interactivity. So uh, we'll move on to that and see you there.